What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back with another car that I bought sight unseen, and I have a hunch I overpaid, and it's going to be a bad deal. A 2005 Nissan Altima with a 3.5, and I think it might have a CVT transmission as well. Let's check it out. So here she is, my 2005 Nissan Altima 3.5. It was listed at ACV Auctions as a non-driver and as it wouldn't stay running. It said that it would start and then immediately die. Now, to me, I decided it was worth a risk because the price seemed cheap. Don't worry, I'll tell you how much I paid for it here in just a minute. It didn't come out to be nearly as cheap as I thought it was going to be after shipping um, and fees, of course. Uh, so that kind of, that stung a little bit. And my thought process on this is, hey, it's a decent looking car. It could be a good A to B, right? People love Nissans. The Altima is a very popular car. Maybe, just maybe, it just needs to have a diagnostic run on it and a sensor or two replaced. It could be that simple. It really could. It could be that simple. The body, well, the paint's a little rougher than I thought it was. It does seem to have reasonably decent tires though. Let's check out the interior. Yeah, it's, well, you know. <laughs> what is going on down there? The carpet is all pulled back. Okay, seat covers. It's pretty gnarly. It is, it's pretty gnarly. Let's check out the front. Door handles are missing on most of the car, so you gotta kinda Reach your hand up under there. It's doable. You learn it. You figure it out. Okay, it's it's not the worst. Yeah, but for what I paid for it, I think I'm totally screwed on this one. So here's what I saw when I bought it. Um, I won it for 900 bucks. There was shipping involved, which came out to $524 because it came from Houston. And yeah, so there it is, green light, yellow light. It doesn't look too awful bad in the pictures, but nonetheless, here we are. It belongs to us now. So $900 plus 500 shipping, you know, we're 1400 deep. There were auction fees, probably another $300. So we've probably got like 1700 into this. Turn the ignition on. Let's see what it does. Well, that power steering makes some horrible noises. Brake light is on, but we have brake. It runs. Oh no, we've got a battery light. We got a battery light. Yeah. Great. <sighs> Please tell me this thing has air conditioning. You guys know it's hot in Oklahoma, man. <laughs> the Midwest is on fire. Some parts of the country are just drowning in, in rivers from flooding and Oklahoma's like, please send us some water. Oh yeah, okay. So, full disclosure, I do not know anything about this car. I have not driven this car, but I did just put a fresh battery in it. I know the batteries on most of these cars are dead when they get here. So I tend to take the batteries and I take them into the shop and I charge them all at once. So I just put a fresh battery in here maybe pulling the battery and putting it back in. I mean, this car has been sitting without a battery for weeks, weeks. Important window. I hear the regulator, but no. That window, however, does work. All right. It runs well. Radio. Sounds like the radio where, I mean, the air conditioning is freaking awesome. It still says what it did. Okay, radio works, power steering works, brakes work. Let's see what's in the trunk real quick. The battery light's on, so obviously we've got a charging issue. That trunk looks decent. So here's where I'm at with this car, and I haven't even driven it yet. Yeah, a little bit of a power steering whine going on. The alternator's new, it looks. 
That alternator doesn't look old at all. I don't know if you can see it down there. Well, it might be worth checking some fuses. I'm definitely checking volt. Oh, <laughs> definitely checking the voltage could just be a, a problem. The brake light could be. Why won't this close? I don't understand. Why doesn't this want to? Why doesn't this want to close? There we go. Okay. It's got a slightly cracked windshield. The problem with a car like this is if you pay too much for it, God, that AC is nice. Like I, there's so many things I would want to fix on this car. Number one, a cracked windshield. I hate that. I would want to fix the windshield. This is a very important window. So I would want to fix the regulator and the motor in this window as well. If it's got a charging problem, it may need an alternator. So we definitely would want to get that checked as well. And we don't even know how it drives yet. A detail, it's filthy on the inside. Um, we've already got $1,700 <laughs> into this thing, guys. Now, the good news is it looks like somebody had just changed the oil, 8.6 of 22. So it's got fresh oil in it. <laughs> uh, Let's take her on the road. We can't go far because of that battery. Um, I don't know for sure that it's not charging. I'm just gonna assume that it is. We're about to find out. Oh, geez. Add motor mounts to your list of things this car needs. Good God, that was violent. That was violent. All right. Um. Now, going into drive, it's fine, but going into re... Ooh, that doesn't feel right. That didn't feel right at all. It Oh, you know what? This is a CVT, isn't it? That still doesn't feel right. God, that feels weak. Oh, wow. Uh... What's happening? That's floored. What the hell? That's floored. Okay. Oh my. What is go- <laughs> The car is rattling apart. Holy crap. We're, we're not even going 50 miles an hour, and this is not going well. Let's get her up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, boy, this car. This is, a, this is bad. Um, it's definitely a CVT transmission. Let me get you guys down here where you can... Hopefully, you can see the, uh, the gauges. We're going 60. If I floor it, yeah, she'll go. She will, 65, we're at almost 70. I'm gonna slow it down. The car vibrates pretty badly. If I hit the brakes, brakes are actually smooth. I expected that to go worse than it did. Yeah. Guys, this, this, is, this is bad. This car is in bad shape. Could it still be useful to somebody? Yes. I mean, I understand there are people out there that don't have a car at all, and they would look at this and be like, man, okay, the transmission, I don't know what's going on with the transmission. I don't know anything about CVTs. It doesn't shift like a normal automatic transmission. Um, yes, it will cruise at 60 miles an hour. And no, it's not revved up super high. We're doing 60, and with my foot on the gas, we're at about 2,500 RPM to go 60 miles an hour. So it doesn't seem like we're working the engine too hard or anything. It's got cold air, so you're not gonna sweat your balls off driving down the road. The steering, well, it's it steers, and it's relatively straight. It definitely feels worn in the front. Uh, we've driven 2.2 miles now. We got a little little further to go, and then we're going to turn it around and try to make it back home. 
I what I what I think though is it almost feels like the transmission is in some kind of limp mode, like like the CVT is stuck in, in one speed, and it's not. I know CVTs don't shift, but normally you can feel them change throughout your your speed, and this one seems like it is stuck, just like in one spot, almost like an automatic transmission would be stuck in limp mode. Now, once this car passes, I think we can technically downshift. Uh, I could be wrong, too. This may not be a CVT transmission. This might be an automatic. I don't know. Let's put it in sport mode. Okay, sport mode does nothing. That does nothing at all. If I downshift, it does nothing. If I upshift, it does nothing. Yeah, like literally, that that does nothing at all. <laughs> okay. Um, aside from that, though, the listing said the car would run and die. Like it would not stay running. The listing also said that the car didn't drive. It flat out just did not drive. And the car drives. So it runs. Yes, it drives. Yes. Cold air conditioning, brakes, power steering. Yes. Will I ever get my money back out of it? If I sold it as is today, do you think I could get my money back? No. Not a chance I'm going to get $1,700 out of this car. If I fix it, if I spend four or $500 to fix this car up, will I be able to get $2,100 out of it? No. No, I still won't. I still won't. And I, I, I don't know these transmissions, but I'm telling you something ain't right with it. Uh, we don't have a check engine light. And maybe this is an early version of the CVT transmission from Nissan. And maybe they felt weird like that. But when I hit the gas, I expect the damn thing to go. It doesn't have to launch like a bat out of hell. But I expect there to be some torque. I expect that thing to move. And this feels so weak. So weak. What we're about to do now is we're going to stop. We're going to turn it around. The brakes feel good. The steering, although a little loose, feels relatively good as well. This is my turnaround spot right here. Hey, we're putting a few miles on it, which is dangerous considering I have no jump pack with me. I left it on the porch. <laughs> and also considering uh, the battery, according to this, is dying and I am running the air conditioning uh, full blast. So I'm gonna put it, oh wow, I felt that. I felt that too, interesting. Uh, yeah. Let's try putting it manually in this mode. Oh, yeah, she's got torque. Oh, oh, that didn't sound good at all. And now we're back to, the, to not doing anything. Okay, I'm gonna come to a stop again. Speed limit's 65 through here. It's been so long since I've been down here doing a drive. I'm gonna come to a stop. I'm going to leave it in drive, and we're going to kind of just hit the gas full tilt. Let's see what it does. That's floored. I'm floored. Like, look. Pedal to the metal. We're barely moving. Now, if I... Let, let's stop it for a second. There is a transmission problem for sure. Let's say I put it in this. Okay, ready? Floored. Oh, that's still... Oh, it will shift. Okay. So it, it will shift in manual mode. It absolutely will. But it doesn't seem to want to do it on its own. And that shift was super harsh. I mean, super harsh. So now we're going to we're going to get it up to almost 70 and let's see where the RPMs are. At 70 miles an hour we're at 3000 RPMs and I feel like that is not right. I feel like it should be lower than that for sure. Okay, so I'm going to call it on this one guys. This has a transmission problem. Now you guys feel free to comment below and tell me if this is a CVT. It definitely feels like a CVT transmission. Again, 
it's not something I, it's not, it's not worth fixing guys, not even for video content. I don't think this video is gonna do very well. Nobody's interested in a Nissan Altima from 2005. I just bought it because it looked like it was cheap and I love buying cars sight unseen and finding out their quirks. You know, do they work? Do they not? Good cars? Bad cars? I don't know. It's fun. It's exciting for me to grab old cheap cars and bring them home and see what they do. I just share my experience with you. But I really do want to know, is this a CVT transmission? Fairly certain it is at the end of the day, by the time we go through and fix everything that would need fixed to make this a really good car for someone, I would just lose even more money sending it down the road to auction. So I think this car is gonna be number one on the chopping block. Um, yes, you could drive it. Yes, it'll get in, you could get in it and you can go. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but as of today, yeah, she runs and she drives. So I'm probably gonna put this up on Copart. Ooh. Okay, the noise from that right front wheel did not sound healthy at all. Maybe you shouldn't get in it and drive. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. But look at this guy. Yeah, passing on a hill. There you go, passing on a hill. That's smart. That's real smart. I mean, I'm going the speed limit. <laughs> Everybody's got to go fast out here, guys. It's the country. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't think any of you are going to be interested in this car. But if you are, if you're interested, it's going up for sale at Copart. When you see this video, you know what that means? That means the car is already for sale. Link in the description down below, and I'll put it in the comments below too. It'll be pinned. So if you're interested in bidding on this 05 Nissan Altima that... Looks like it probably needs an alternator and has some quirky transmission problem. Well, bit away. I'm gonna throw this one up. Uh, I, I will have to put a reserve on it. I can't lose everything, but maybe maybe 500 bucks. I think $500 will be my reserve and that's what it's gonna be, 500 bucks. So anything over $500, regardless of what the auction listing says, anything over 500, uh, it's yours, man. It's yours. I'm, I'm done with it. Let's get back to the house. Let's put a voltmeter on that battery and let's see if that light is being accurate or if it's fictitious. Well, I got to give the old girl credit. It made it. Not all of the cars that I pick up can make it 10 miles. And this one did. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly kind of impressed with that, guys. She made it. I don't know if you can see it, but 9.9 .9 miles. I know it's sideways, but 9.9 .9 miles. She made it 10 miles. Air conditioning blowing. It, it runs. I, I don't know what more you want from it. Let's get a uh, voltmeter out and let's just see what's going on with this alternator. All right, so here's what I've got. We've got a little battery analyzer. I know this battery's good. We've got 12.6 volts, and considering we drove this thing 10 miles with the air conditioner going, uh, I find it difficult to believe that it would still have uh, almost 13 volts in the battery. So let's... Uh-oh. Okay, that took a little longer to fire up, didn't it? Oh, we have a service engine soon light now, and a battery light, and a brake light. <laughs> okay, well, like I said, this car is, uh, I've already got too much into it. Ah, well, she's definitely not charging. That is a fact. 12.06 volts, yeah. Yep, she is not charging. That is a newer alternator. It still has the sticker on it. <sighs> yeah, she's dead as doornail, guys. And, and dropping. I wonder if you rev it up some, if that battery light starts going out. I bet it doesn't. So could I work on it and Let's see if it went up any. Nope, it sure didn't. Continuing to drop. Okay. 
you know, I don't want to, I don't want to sit here and say that the car is junk. It's not a junk car. Uh, I've got junk cars. I've had plenty of junk cars and this is not junk. This is not junk. It still has a little bit of life left in it. Unfortunately, I'm going to, I'm going to lose a lot on this one. I'm going to lose a lot on it. Ah, uh, this really sucks. This really sucks. I overpaid by, I, I would say I probably overpaid by at least $1,000 on this. So I am, uh, oh, the AC just went out. The blower motor just went out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> Let's try it again. There it goes. Shut it off, comes back on. There we go. Yeah, AC came. I don't know what the deal was with that. Blow motor just quit. I'm gonna quit though. This this car is uh for me anyway, it's a dud. It's something that I shouldn't have got, and I absolutely do regret it. But at least I got to make a video on it. With any luck, this video will do halfway well, and maybe I'll make five or $600 off the video. If I can sell it for $500, you know, I might make a thousand or so and still lose $700 on the car. I'm screwed. Sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Not to worry, guys. We got plenty more cars that I can lose lots of money on, like an 83 Camaro. That was a mistake. 06 Nissan Xterra, probably. 01 Maxima, yeah, we'll probably lose money on that too. 89 Honda Civic, that's wrecked. Oh, I'll, I'll probably lose money on that. Uh, 98 Jimmy, I don't know, we might do okay on that. 98 Pontiac Transport Montana, it's possible we may do okay on that one. A 92 Saturn SL2, yeah, we definitely won't make any money on that. And I think this is a, well, I don't know. I don't know what year it is. 98, 99, 2000, 1, 2, Pontiac Grand Prix GT. Eh, no, we're going to lose money on that one too, I'm sure. I can just look at that car and tell it's a dud. Sometimes, as soon as they get here in person, I know. I see them, and I know for a fact that this one's a dud. This one, this is like an 07 Chrysler 300. Uh, this, one's, this one's iffy. This one's if it could go either way. I'm gonna tell you right now, this one has some damage to the oil pan and it has no oil. And I was not aware of that. <laughs> Didn't know that until it got here and uh, I realized pretty quickly she had no oil. And I don't know, this one might be okay. Then again, it might not. Uh, we could actually turn a profit on this one or we could lose quite a bit. Going into the shop, <laughs> the, uh, the 89 Honda Accord 1800. Honestly, we might do okay with that. I didn't pay anything for it, and it actually runs, so we may do all right on that one. The Chevy Citation, <laughs> nobody's gonna buy that. <laughs> Let's be honest, nobody's gonna buy that car. Uh, even running and driving, you probably couldn't give it away, so I'll probably, I'll probably lose money on that. The 1929, a little hot rod, the little tea bucket. I, you know, I'm torn on this. It doesn't run. I bought it that way, and as usual, I overpaid for it. I think I paid 11.5. I think I paid 11.5. And I've got a box over there that's got at least another $500 <laughs> in parts to put on it. So uh, yeah, currently non-runner. We might be able to get it running and then might be able to make a little money on this when it's done. I know, I know you guys are gonna want me to keep this one, but I got a surprise for you. I've got another bucket another tea bucket that I bought um, for barely more than I paid for this. I mean, barely. I got a, a yellow one that's coming that I paid fourteen five for. And from the pictures, sight unseen, of course, I buy all these sight unseen, but from the pictures, the yellow one looks like a beast. So I'd rather have that one, and this one will eventually go up for sale, assuming we can get it running. Check out that engine. I'll bet most of you don't know what that is. I'll bet you've never seen one. It's my first time seeing one myself, um, and Santa's workshop helped me figure out exactly what kind of engine it is, it is there. Then, of course, the 1925 Ford Model T, the original, the OG car, guys, the OG. She's uh, she got some patina. 
She got a little patina. Uh, I, I, the windshield's missing because I smashed it into a tree accidentally, but that's okay. That's okay. We got a lot going on here. We got the rims and wheels for the for the Viper, uh, rims and tires from the Viper, new tires for the Model T, new tires for the Xterra. We got a new uh, Edelbrock ABS-2 carburetor. I believe it's a 650 CFM for that. I'm fairly certain that's the problem. An alternator sitting right here. That's for the, uh, the Nissan Xterra as well. Um, and then a bunch of fuel components, sediment bowl, uh, shutoff valves. Um, believe it or not, this is a fuel filter for the Model T. Um, these are genuine Ford parts, believe it or not. You can still buy genuine Ford parts for the Model T. Um, we got a lot, guys. There's a lot going on. And I appreciate each and, one, each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my videos when I know that there's a thousand other videos that you could be watching. I hope you're enjoying the array of content that I'm bringing you. There is so much difference. It's, it's, it's just, what a variety. We got 80s, 90s, 2000s. We got 20s, 20s. Uh, we got a little something for everybody here, guys. I'm really working hard to make sure that you're entertained. And if you are, do, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button and, and let me know also. It goes a long way to support the channel. If you just share the video on social media with your friends, share it on your Twitter account, share it on your Facebook account. It really does go a long way to help support the channel and help the channel grow, which enables me to do what I do and that's buy, buy more crap. <laughs> And more crap for the channel. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.